Welcome to Math and Meditation. In this short video, we're going to uh, look at the relationship between velocity, distance, and time for objects that travel at a constant speed. But before we do that, we are going to uh, do an exercise to relax our mind and body so that we are better be prepared to uh, to take on those new concepts and new ideas. And we do this by sitting in a comfortable position with our feet flat on the floor and with a straight spine. We can imagine that there's a thread pulling on the top of our head to straighten up our spine. We then relax our body one part at a time, starting at the bottom. And we do this by relaxing when we let go of the breath, so during the out-breath. So during the first out-breath, we're going to relax our feet. During our second out-breath, we're going to relax our legs. During our third out-breath, we're going to relax our hips and our stomach. Then we're going to relax our chest. And our arms. And during the next out breath, we relax the neck and the shoulders. And finally, we relax our head. Now, with a more relaxed mind and body, we turn our attention back to the mathematics. All right, so in this uh, video, we're going to look at uh, the relationship between time, velocity, and speed. So uh, time, we'll note, you know, T, Velocity will denote with a V and distance will denote D. <coughs> and the relationship is the following that distance divided by time is equal to the velocity and now if you remember that you know velocity is measured in uh, units which are distance uh, per time unit so velocity can be like uh, 10 kilometers per hour so this actually gives us a hint of 
how we should calculate this. So it's the distance divided by the time. Um, right, this is hour. So distance divided by time. Distance divided by time. So this means that if we know the distance d and we know the time it takes to travel that distance, we can actually calculate the velocity. So um, that's the first relationship. And we know that the velocity is given by distance divided by time. Now, we can uh, then manipulate this equation here. So this here will be our first relation. So now for the second one, we already know that velocity is equal to distance divided by time. But now if we take each one of those sides here and multiply by t, multiply by t on the left hand side and by t on the right hand side, oops. Um, let's erase this. So uh, what does that give us? So the t on the right hand side cancel out with this one. So this one cancels out this one here. So we're left with um, distance equal to time times velocity. So in other words, if we know the time and the velocity of an object, then we can calculate the distance that it travels. So that's relation two. And now the third one is, so we start with the same one again, that, uh, that distance divided by time is equal to velocity. <coughs> so now, let's start with the same thing we did here. On second thought, let's take this out. and start with the equation that we had here. So distance equal to time times velocity. Now, if we take this equation and divide by velocity on both sides, then the velocities cancel out and we're left with time is equal to distance divided by velocity. So in other words, if we know the distance and we know the velocity, then we can calculate the time it took the object to travel that distance at that velocity. And those are three relationships that we need for constant velocity calculations. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, and I hope you'll be with us in the future. Thanks.